FAA faces dilemma over 737 MAX wiring floor that Boeing missed. During the original design and certification of Boeing 737 MAX, company engineers didn't notice that the electrical wiring doesn't meet federal aviation regulations for safe wire separation. And the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, failed to detect Boeing's miss. The wiring vulnerability creates the theoretical potential for an electrical short to move the jet's horizontal tail uncommanded by the pilot, which could be catastrophic. If that were to happen, it could lead to a flight control emergency similar to the one that brought down two MAX jets, causing 346 deaths and the grounding of the aircraft. Because this danger is extremely remote, the FAA faces a dilemma over what to do about it. The issue has complicated the return of the MAX to service after a grounding that is edging close to one year. Modifying the wiring would be a delicate and expensive task, and Boeing this week submitted a proposal to the FAA, arguing that it shouldn't be required. Yet allowing the wiring to remain as is will be difficult at a time when both Boeing and the FAA are under tremendous scrutiny. Boeing's argument rests on the long service history of the earlier Model 737, which has the same wiring. That earlier 737 UNG model didn't have to meet the current wiring separation standards because they came into force long after the jet was certified. There are 205 million flight hours in the 737 fleet with this wiring type, a Boeing official said. There have been 16 failures in service, none of which were applicable to this scenario. We've had no hot shorts. In addition, Boeing says pulling out and rerouting wires on the almost 800 maxes already built would pose a potentially higher risk of causing an electrical short, because insulation could chafe or crack in the process of moving the wires. However, an FAA safety engineer familiar with the issue, who asked not to be identified because he spoke without agency permission, said agency technical staff have been clear that the wiring doesn't comply with regulations and have told their Boeing counterparts it has to be fixed. A second person familiar with the FAA's thinking said the agency has communicated to Boeing that despite the safe service history of the wiring on other 737s, it will be difficult to convince regulators that they should do nothing. Our people have to weigh that against the regulations and the political and public opinion risk of appearing to give Boeing a break on a regulation that's there for a reason, the second person said. Furthermore, there's also pressure from foreign regulators, including the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, ESA. It's probably true that if Boeing proposes to do nothing, ESA is going to say, hell no, the second person said. Jeff Gazzetti, a former accident investigator with both the FAA for more on this story, visit the news article link.